In this figure, we have two circles. The radius of the larger circle is 50 units and the radius of the smaller circle is 24 units. We also have an angle that measures 17 degrees and this angle is formed by two tangents to the smaller circle. Then we will find angle X that is formed by two tangents to the larger circle. So let this point that is outside of the circles be point A. The center of the smaller circle will be point B. The center of the larger circle be point C. And the point of tangency of these two circles will be point D. Now let's connect point A with the centers of each of these two circles. Then in this smaller circle, if these two are tangents to this circle, then the line AB bisects the angle of 17 degrees. Then each of these angles will measure 8.5 degrees because 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. And now the same with the larger circle. The line AC will bisect angle X and now each of these angles will measure X over 2. Next we will connect the points B and D. Then BD represents the radius of this circle and it is perpendicular to AD because in a circle the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. And now we have a right triangle ADB. In this triangle the acute angle A measures 8.5 degrees, the opposite side is 24 units, and we can find the adjacent side AD using the tangent function. We will write that tangent of 8.5 degrees equals the opposite side 24 divided by the adjacent side AD. To find AD, first we will multiply both sides by AD to eliminate the fraction on the right side. Then on the left side we will have AD times tangent of 8.5 degrees and on the right side AD cancels and we will have 24. And now we will divide both sides by tangent of 8.5 degrees. Then on the left side tangent will cancel and AD equals 24 over tangent of 8.5 degrees. Then if we use a calculator we will get that AD is approximately 160.59 units. So we found AD and now in the larger circle let's connect points C and D. Then CD is the radius of this circle and it is perpendicular to AD. And now here we have another right triangle, A, D, C. In this right triangle, the side CD is 50 units, the side AD is approximately 160.59 units, and we can find the angle X over 2 using the tangent function. We will write that tangent of X over 2 equals the opposite side 50, divided by the adjacent side 160.59. Then to find the angle x over 2 we will take the tangent inverse of the fraction 50 over 160.59. Then we will use a calculator and we will get that x over 2 is approximately 17. 29 degrees. And now to find angle X we will multiply 17.29 by 2. Then X equals 17.29 multiplied by 2 which makes 34.58 degrees. So we found angle X and the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.